Yo, what's up? This is B-Boy Speed Up VOC. Break is at the Army and Kingsbridge right here at the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. We're nominating Curtis Blow for the 30th basketball. It's a song basketball for 30 years of separation. But right now, I'm with my man Sal, the Fever Sal. Y'all know about the Fever? This is the man right here. This is Sal. Sal, what's up, baby? It's good to see you, baby. What's up, Speed? You know how it is. Just trying to stay in the game and keep this culture alive and rep it for the fellas. You know what I'm saying? But how about you, man? Tell me a little about how, how it is from then to now where you're at. Well, I mean, we started this in 1976. You know, uh, fortunate for me, my family's always been in the nightclub business, and uh, we had some clubs in the South Bronx on 167 Jerome. We had like a jazz place. And uh, we opened up a club in, back in the day when there was disco, you know, and we called it the Disco Fever. And I seen uh, Sweet Jean there doing some nursery rhymes, and I was like, wow, what's, what's this? This is very unique. And I love that it was the interaction with the DJ and the MC with the crowd and how they responded back and forth and, and I like that they made the place be its one unit so all the customers felt that they were one. So I started checking out, me and G became good friends, started going to the parks, found Grandmaster Flash, brought him indoors, then brought Hollywood, Starsky, hooked up with uh, Curtis Blow and uh, you know, me and Curtis have been best friends from way back in the late 70s and I was best man for his wedding so I'm here to support him because we've been very good friends all these years and I'm really proud of him and you know you never know somebody's uh, greatness and worth and what we did back then until 30 years later and then you see that these things that are happening now and all the acknowledgement that the original guys are getting because you know they didn't get too much in the 90s and you know the early 2000s and I see they're coming around for the old school guys again. Well, you know, what I've learned growing up and knowing and hearing about you, and even though I was too young to get into the clubs and everything, we always dance outside the clubs. But overall, you know, how is it for you in, in, in this era, being a promoter or, or, or keeping this culture alive, in other words, by, uh, you know, having people like Curtis Blow perform for you? Well, what it is with me is I love music, so it's the passion of what I do. This is my 43rd year doing this. Luckily for me, I still am relevant in the business, but I always knew how to recreate myself. And I brought, I started working back with the old school people because I discovered a music called Freestyle in the Bronx also at, on Tremont and uh, Webster at the club called The Devil's Nest, where a lot of people worked, and I'm pretty sure you were break dancing there. And so now I brought these two cultures together, which are old school Latinos and, you know, and our hip hoppers, our original hip hoppers, and I'm doing these concerts together and they're selling out. We just did Radio City Music Hall last year. And I had half hip hop and half freestyle. And we sold out 11,000 seats in two nights of old school acts. So that's showing the relevancy and how great the music was because the people today that are in their 30s and 40s and even the new generation we're creating are filling up seats in arenas. Right, and you know what I noticed as well? You're very much needed in this scene even on a Latin level and a hip hop level, you know what I'm saying? Because not too many promoters are are, are, are really targeting on freestyle and hip hop, which you do very well, and you want, and you still got it, bro. You still got it, the people love you, you have a great following, you know, and, and we want to thank you for keeping this culture alive and also freestyle for Latinos. Yes, well, you know, again, like I said, you know, it, was, it, it died off, and I'm so happy that these guys are still making money on, you know, because they didn't make too much money in the beginning, and I think now they're reaping the benefits. You know, they all got their lives, they got kids now, and now it's a great time. It's like a get-together. I put together like 15, sometimes 17 groups in one night. We just sold out Lehman in the Bronx, yeah. our 10th year in a row. I never left my, you know, I was born in the Bronx. I went to a hollows, and I went to school here, and I left, never left my roots, and I just opened up a nightclub in the Bronx, my first one in uh, 15 years. Yeah. You know, just to like stay involved and, and it's, I'm a Bronx boy so is Curtis you know we're from the Bronx and we're very proud of the history I mean this town discovered hip-hop and freestyle I mean we discovered two of the most important music genres in the history of music you know you know not for nothing but I look back on my history and there's not too many people like ourselves that live this lifestyle that we live we're blessed to live here not once, twice, but three, four generations later. This is and we're still plugging in. The I started in the 70s, 80s. Now I'm on my fifth, sixth decade already. You know, I'm doing this 43 years. I'm 62 years old. Luckily, I still got the the health and the passion to do it. But you know, when you love music and you give a show that you know the people want, I don't do the shows 
you know, just to make money. I do the shows to make the people have a party and recreate a great time in their lives. Because a lot of people, you know, they're struggling with their everyday life. And what, what suits them? Music. Yes, yes, yes. And it's healing, too. It brings you back to yeah, when you were exactly. 20, exactly. when you were a teenager, yeah. your first love. And it brings you back to a great time in your life when you didn't have to work and you didn't have to pay taxes. Yeah. And you were just oh. being bad with your mother and father. And now, now that their parents now, you know, and they're bringing their children and their kids are embracing this music because there ain't no new music. Yeah. There hasn't been music yeah. in 20 years. I agree. So now I combine the hip hop and freestyle together and I'm bringing both cultures together. Which is powerful. Oh, it's not. Like no one's doing it. Uh, and this I, is why I, I, Well, I they say. copy it now. They, no, they, 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 they bite, it's always going to be they, copied. They, they, they oh, bite off me. Oh, but you know what's funny to even say that? I know you know Big Boy London, my partner. Yep. You know, we started MC competitions with B Boy Competition, with DJ Competition. We brought the elements together. We started doing events. How did BET take Freestyle Fridays from us? The idea and the concept. They bit it. They bit it. They definitely bit it. You know, and today well, it's really a great idea. Yeah. And people don't you know, like when people that's copy of you, that, that's your your acknowledgement, and that's the... That's which, which is understandable. They never give you the credit, but you know how that goes. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to take the credit for themselves. But yo, this is b uh, This is Sal. I'm about to say it's B-Boy Sal. He's definitely a B-Boy Sal, oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it, it's always a pleasure seeing you, you know. Um, I always enjoy seeing you, and you know, keep up the good work, man. We definitely need you in the scene. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do the same on my end, and I hope we will collaborate. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, baby. Come by the club. All right. Drink. You know it. I don't drink, but I'll do one on the rocks. I'll, I'll drink one for you. <laughs> I'll have two drinks. <laughs> All right, this is Street Lock. I'm like, B Boy Speedy, and my man Sal from The Fever. Check it out. Catch it, baby. <laughs>